Yeah. I call the member Menzies. Uh, Deputy Speaker, at the outset of my remarks, can I uh, express my condolences in relation to the tragic events that have occurred in recent hours in Manchester and indicate, I'm sure, on behalf of all members here, our thoughts and prayers to those affected uh, by those events. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, this week is Palliative Care Week, and it's an opportunity to reinforce the value of palliative care services throughout our community. Indeed, the focus of Palliative Care Week uh, this year, this week, is on residential and community aged care, and with a very special focus on discussions between family members and friends about care decisions, particularly at the end of life. Indeed, Palliative Care Australia has produced this book, uh, Dying to Talk, a discussion starter uh, for people in those circumstances, an opportunity to think about, to talk about, to discuss with loved ones uh, what responses they want in relation to decisions that might be made about their care and particularly their care uh, in the dying and terminal stages at the end of life. This is a valuable resource, Mr Deputy Speaker. I commend it to anybody who happens to be listening to this broadcast uh, this afternoon or at some stage reading Hansard. Uh, it's an important subject. It deserves uh, much more attention, and it's an opportunity for family and friends to discuss uh, important matters at the end of life.